What's up, nerds? Welcome back to my channel, guys. So, I know you guys are probably like, Marissa, what? Um, I feel like I just redid my shelves with you guys, but honestly, I don't think I, I, I did it when I got the new shelf, but I've been talking about my shelves a lot recently because I love the way this looks up here, but I hate everything else. I literally love, I genuinely just love this top part right here. It's hard to see. Like, just literally from, like, this this whole top part is so cute. Love my TBR jar. And then these, whatever. I love that, but I've been talking about it a lot recently. So I feel like that's all I've been saying, really. Um, but I keep changing these because I can't decide what I want, like, di directly right in these videos. Um, and then the rest of this is giving chaos. Chaos, and I kind of hate it. So I'm going to take all my books off, clean them. We're going to reorganize this bad boy and hopefully get it to a place that I like. I just got some floating shelves, which I'll show you in a little bit. And then I also got some book stands. So um, those are not coming till tomorrow. But for now, we'll still, again, take all the books out, clean it, give her a good clean, and then kind of go from there. Um, it's my, what's giving me pause is my romance books are like, there's so many of them. And none of them are like, I don't feel the need, like I need to display any of them. Um, much, uh, very many of them. Like, I like to have my favorites and, like, my most recent reads, my most recent fav favorites in the front, but then the rest is kind of, like, I don't know what to do with it. I do have some, um, stuff in my closet, books in my closet, but those are just gonna stay there because they're just, like, I... Well, they're, the only way they'll get displayed is when I get, like, if I ever got my own house and, like, had a library because those books are, like, it's, like, Twilight, my whole Percy Jackson series. Like, they just take up way too much space. So, anyway, um, I don't want to move anything else over there unless it's, like, a book I really hate. But then if I hate it, I might as well unhaul it. So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I also have some decor, like you can see some random things here. Um, I don't want to buy too much more because, again, I change it so often that it's like there's no guarantee it'll have, have always have a use for it. But I want to kind of see what it is I like and how I like it. Again, I have a lot of, I didn't say this, but I have a lot of favorite authors that I have all, like, a lot of their books from. So those are, like, really hard, like Ali Hazelwood, Abby Jimenez, Emily Henry, um, Anna Huang. Like, there's so many that are just so hard. Um, so we'll see. We're going to play around with it. Um, and you guys will, um, do it with me. First, if you guys like <laughs> organizing shelves, if you guys like reorganizing shelves, if you guys like all the juicy tea, if you guys like all the nerdy things, duh, why, why, I just said that. Um, then definitely give this video a thumbs up, <laughs> hit the subscribe button, and without further ado, let's just get started. I know last time some of you guys were like, Marissa, why are you taking your books out like that and throwing them on your bed? So I'm going to be gentle this time. I'll be gentle. Gentle. <laughs> Alright, so for the most part, that's done. Again, I just left the top the same. Actually, I'm going to leave this candle up here because I really like that. I might, I'll probably wipe it down and then do it. And then again, I'll show you the sh floating shelves in one second. I think I'm going to move like one of these, um, this square organizer and put it on the other side of the um, big organizer. 
because then I could put like my vitamins and like um, stuff that I use on a daily that I usually keep by my TV. Just keep it a little bit separate on that side um, because I like having this one, but like it's a lot, it's, it's weird. I feel like it'll just be easier, but I'll show you what I mean. Um, and then I'll show you the books too. I um, stack them all up here. I have a lot of freaking books, um, but just kind of to see what I was working with. Um, so hold on. Okay, for starters, those are the two series so far I have on the floating shelves. I don't know if I love them like that, if I want to change them. I just hate, I love the Carval, and I love Once Upon a Broken Heart. I just don't love them together, so I don't know if I like that. And then there's only four books in that's the Windy City series, so I don't know if I love that either, but I kind of love it. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> um, here are all, okay, don't fall the stacks of books don't mind my shoes um so i put all like the little trinkets i had those are all my romance books for the most part again some of these are romance as well but like you know the series and stuff like that uh and then this is fantasy ya fantasy um sarah j mass and then the rest is like fantasy fantasy i'm getting a lot of a lot more fantasy books and i have look at all the books on my tbr card like come on that's a lot of books that I think that's my problem I like am not like taking into account when I get more books and like leaving space and so that's what I kind of want to do my goal is to um leave it spacious enough that I can add all of these books on my shelf um but also cute with the space you know what I'm saying so um yes you can see all my like vitamins and stuff um just different things that I like to keep up here but I would rather have on that little, whatever, so I'm going to switch them. I kind of like sweep. Okay, so I literally don't know what to do now. So I have that little thing that I love. Um, that will all the tops will stay the same. I might add, well, I, maybe I'll change a little bit, but not much. Um, sorry, you can see my ring light, but anyway, um, I wonder what it would be like if I put like YA in this organizer, but like also like fantasy and romance everything YA in this one and then favorite series and stuff over there and then kind of figure out the rest sorry for that stain as well it's kind of whatever this is kind of an old little guy but I wonder if that if I'll like that because then I feel like it's separated in my head hmm decisions decisions okay let me just kind of Put it in a general idea and then we'll go from there. I think I like that so I love my YA shelf I obviously I didn't organize it I just put them in there I like that idea a lot um, and then I really like this like I like this idea a favorite um, romance shelf and then I think I'm gonna make these bottom two rows fantasy um, I think I like that and then this whole thing will be what's left of my romance.
I think I like that. Yeah. We just have to see it. It's so hard because like it's like you gotta see it. So let's just see it. Like I'll just do it, and then we'll reassess. Okay, real quick, before I go to bed, I kind of decided on this. I like it. I just hate how colorful the freaking Akatar series is. So, I like, obviously not the top, but like the bottom is giving fantasy, um, obviously dark, darker colors, just pops of red. Even like the Throne of Glass series is darker. And then you have just this bright freaking thing. And I'm like, I don't know what to do with that. So, like, I kind of love the way it's going because I'm like, there's a lot of room so I can add books, you know, continue to grow and, like, continue to add to this. And I love that. But I hate, like, that pop of color. But I don't know if it's worth it enough to change it or what. Um, then I kind of just did right here we have my Katharina Mara, which will grow. Same with Sophie Lark and then um, Anna Huang. Um, I like that as well, so hopefully that can stay the same. <laughs> that doesn't leave us with a lot of space for all of this, but we're gonna just have to, like, see what happens, figure it out, um, because I'm really liking it so far, um, and I might just have to, like, I don't know, I'll close my eyes when I look at that, because I'm very happy with how it's turning out those two I'll have to wait for like um, my stands to come probably then we'll just play with it a little bit more but anyway I'm gonna go to bed and sleep on it and figure see if that's what I like tomorrow morning I could change everything um, but we'll have to see for sure oh you know what hmm what if I switch Akatar and fourth wing I might do that okay I'll see
All right, so, so far, here's what we got going on. I am actually really excited about the way it looks. I ended up putting all the romances over there, and I like that better, um, just because it matches with the top. And then up here, we have more romance. So I like, just felt like that was better over there. Then we have fantasy over here, YA fantasy. So I just felt like it was a little bit nicer. We'll go into a little bit more detail. I'm just waiting to get my, the stands in the mail, the like book stands, because I think I want to stand, I think one of those up, maybe one of those, we'll see, maybe something up here, um, and then we'll play around with that, I also didn't add any of like the decor and decorations that I had, so we'll wait on that, but then I will give you guys a full tour, I'm so excited, I kind of love it, I don't know, I love it. <laughs> I want to get like um, a little Chicago like skyline trinket or something, but I couldn't find any on Etsy, so I don't know where I would get them, um, where I would get it for like my Windy City series, but um, that's scarred up there. Anyway, um, yes. All right, guys, so here's the finished thing with like the stands, with all the decorations. I'm kind of obsessed. Um, so we're going to go into detail. I'm going to show you all the books try to go as quickly as possible but I want to show you everything because I kind of love it I think so um you guys can let me know what you think <laughs> here it is here again one just one huge picture but boom I'm obsessed I don't know I kind of love it <laughs> all right so here's the first shelf well we'll just go through these these two because you guys can see them um so first we have the natural series you guys can see um i love this series so much it is so good i think this top row is definitely like some of my favorite um ya series <laughs> i love the naturals and then we have my car of all series i love it so much it is so good and so we have those um i'm missing the fourth one so i'm like it's gonna have to just squeeze or something of the natural series but <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to put it because I kind of love this, so I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, then we have the Cruel Prince Trilogy, which is a new favorite, a new read, but I've been obsessed. I love it. And then we you can see my Divine Rivals, which I'll show you a little bit better in a second, but I love the series so much. So freaking good. Um, then we have over here, these are like my fantasy. I'm going to go in the front. I don't know what it's going to look like, but um, maybe I'll just kind of sit here. Um, this is fantasy i love this like black i don't know the black <laughs> dark vibes because this is dark blue but like i don't know it was giving so we have this is the holly renee series i don't even know what it's called this one is called a kingdom of stars and shadows but i i don't i don't know what kind of series it is i don't even know if that's in the right order but um it's a newer series to me um which also i'll talk about it more on my channel um but then we have Kingdom of Lies by Stacia Stark. I was like, I know it says it. Um, book one and book two. Book three I have, um, but then book four is coming out in May, so I'm so excited about this series. It's such a good one. Um, these are both on Kindle Unlimited if you want to read them. Um, these are obviously much shorter and a lot more quick paced, but these are a lot more like in the nitty gritty, you know what I mean? <laughs> then we have some Scarlet St. Clair. Like, I feel like if I had to let go of, like, create space, I definitely would, like, let go of this book here, um, A Touch of Darkness, because I doubt I'm going to read the series. But I really like The King of Battle, Battle and Blood. Those are definitely in the wrong... Oh, I don't know if they are. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I think they're in the wrong order. Anyway, um, I love this series, this little... Yeah, the series by Scarlet St. Clair, but I haven't heard anything about it, so I have no idea if it's coming back or what, or what she's doing with it. Um, but then we have The Wolf King by Lauren Palf Palferman. I love this book so much. I'm so excited for the next one. I honestly, I emailed her because she, like, sent out an email from her newsletter, and I was, honestly, she was asking for, like, tips or something like that. She was like, what do you guys want to see in the newsletter? And I was like girl I, I answered that said a bunch of stuff <laughs> I was telling her how much I love that book and I was like if you want to send an arc my way I definitely will read it because <laughs> I love that book so much all right then we have the um from blood and ash series I have a hate love relationship with this um because I just hate how that they're all not the big ones and I feel like if they were all um this the bottom like the bottom row it will look nicer because then I could put something on top of it but I also like that it's kind of like I don't know, it gives its own style that way. I don't know if I love it, but for now, it's going to stay like that. Um, I don't even know. These are not in the right order because they're not all the same size, so I can't put them in order because if this one, it goes, like, down, whatever. It just is so ugly, but 
you just have to pretend and it looks good. <laughs> All right, I just have to take you off the stand so that you can see again. Divine Rivals, I think this looks so good. We have my Carvall, like, special edition. I love that special edition. I just feel like I can't show it until, I, like, I have bigger shelves, better shelves, because then I can have a whole, like, Stephanie Garber shelf. But for now, that just has to stay there, and it looks good with this. Um, Again, yeah, there's the From Blood and Ash, and then there's that stuff. Um, Then down here, we have my Percy Jackson Chalice of the Gods. Um... If this one is a tight squeeze. I genuinely don't know what I'm going to do when I get the rest of the series because I already have the third book in this one. I have the second book on the way. This is a whole series. This one's coming out with more. So, like, definitely going to grow out of this, but <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. For now, I just love it. So, maybe we'll have to just put stuff in the back um, behind it, which is fine because, like, a lot of these series I don't talk about too, too much. Um, so, it's, like, honestly, it's fine, but pronounce that and then down here this one also is a hate love but like I, I like it don't love it I love my serpents in the wings of night um so like I love those covers but there's not enough of it to have its own like cubby or you know its own spotlight so it has to share but nothing looks good with it <laughs> um so then but then we have my fourth wing which is looks just so good I love the special edition love my tabs and then Iron Flame looks dope, so I'm excited to, like, for that to grow, um, but for now, it just has to share these, and then Fear the Flames, I didn't want it up there because up here is all black, and then it was just green, and I'm like, ugh, no, so I had to put it down there, and waiting for more of that series as well, it's not here yet, so, um, there's that. I might as well do the rest of the bottom shelves so while I'm here. We have my Book of the Month books. I love the way this looks as well, and I didn't want it on the bottom shelf, but I feel like that just, it just looks the best like that, um, Especially, too, because this is not, like, it's it's romance, fantasy, like, it's everything mixed into uh, um, one. So, it's all my Book of the Month books. Literally, I have exactly enough to fit in here. So, the ones I don't like as much can definitely go to the back <laughs> um, when I get more and more. So, this is fine. This will just be my Book of the Month cubby, and I kind of love it as well. Um, so, I'm excited to see what else. And then we have my Katie Robert. So, it's Katie Robert and Gina L. Maxwell. Gina L. Maxwell, those, that series is actually so good. It's like Faye meets um, uh, Vegas, and I kind of love it, but <laughs> it's just not really a place to put it because it's both, it's like fantasy, it's like, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it's, 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 it's real world mixed with fantasy, so it's just in its own world. Honestly, it's in the most similar to, like, the, um, Katie Roberts, because Katie Roberts will write stuff that, like, the, she talks about, like, Zeus and, like, um, them, but, like, it's not really fantasy, so it's mostly just romance. It's, it's whatever, so it just lives there. Anyway, I thought that was perfect, so we're just gonna leave it like that. There's that shelf. We have a little cup there, which I think was cute. It just was there for, the, to be there. Um, and then... Well, I'll show you that in a second. So let's go back to these and then, yes. Okay, so next we have just these cubes. I was just thinking about how, like, my other um, tripod is so much easier than this one, but it's fine. So we have, obviously, my Sarah J. Mask. So we have um, Throne of Glass. I love this so much. I'm so excited to see it grow because this little cubby is so cute to me. <laughs> and then we have Akatar, which I also think is just so cute. I kind of spiced it up with the colors and stuff. Um, it's not my favorite, like, little cubby thing, but I liked it enough that I'm gonna keep it like that. I just hate how colorful that freaking series is. I just, I hate it. I'm like, this is like mad colors. It's so annoying. There's no theme. <laughs> anyway, so there's that cubby. <laughs> then we have my favorite romances that are, I don't want to say standalones, because some of them are like interconnected standalone and interconnected and stuff like that, but these are like, they're not big enough to be their own series for the most part. Obviously, the Chestnut Spring series will have to move at some point. But for now, I'm just kind of reading that series slowly. For now, I don't, like, need to move it or need to have space for it. Because I don't even have the third book yet. Like, it's literally going to stay like that for a while. So, there's that. And then I love this shelf. I hated it for so long because my stupid Terms and Conditions by Lauren Asher is smaller than my, um, the rest, the other two books. So, it was so annoying because you could see the, I don't know if you guys could see that. I'll bring you closer, but you can see it's from, whenever I got it from, I think I got it from Amazon, um, it came from a different publishing company than the other two. And so, I don't know if that's everyone's or just mine, but so it's a little bit freaking shorter and so it's so 
ugly. And anyway, so I kind of figured it out how I liked it. And then the blue kind of matched with the blue. So I was like, oh my gosh, wait, I love this little cubby so much. I love the stand. Everything's perfect. I love the final offer so much. <laughs> One of my favorites for sure. And then this series is so good. I cannot wait for the third book. These are also a different publishing company, so I never know what that's about, but I'm so excited about that. So those are those four. Again, we have Book of the Month and then Katie Robert over there, so love that. <laughs> Up there by my TV, we just have, like, my Christian books. I only have two, so it's hard to give it its own cubby, <laughs> but I definitely don't want to mix it with any of these other books. So they just live up there. They just match perfectly. They were both red. It was red and then red. Um on the thing so it was like perfect um so I just left it like that I loved it and then I put it a little stand up there I thought it was so cute I could probably definitely fit like one or two more books up there as well so there's that all right then we have this butte of a shelf all right so you guys can see this top shelf here is like I love it so freaking much and I honestly love this as well <laughs> um so we have my Sophie Lark series this is the brutal birthright obviously there's not a lot of growing room but I felt like if anything I could just turn it and then we have mad space you know what I mean so for now it's like cute and featured and we do have some space like if I squish them um they're pretty spread out right now so I, we can make it work. <laughs> I do want this to, at some point, become a whole Katharina Mara shelf, but I don't have enough books right now, so for now it's like this. I also don't, like, love the Twisted series that much. It just matches with Anna Huang, so for now whatever it stays there anyway so we have brutal birthright love the series <laughs> there are six books in this series i believe though so obviously we're gonna need space secret fiance my favorite such an incredible book so good honestly one of her best ones i love bittersweet memories as well um so that one's definitely up there it's like those two are like so freaking good um <laughs> but this cover i don't love that much so i was like oh i don't need to feature it it could just stay there um but then we have the rest of the windor series all the other books I want to reread them so bad but I love this like little plant stuff because I was like it's flowers and all of these are like flowers it was so cute <laughs> then you can see my king of sin series and then my twisted series so again twisted doesn't like need to be up there <laughs> um, but it'll be there for now um, and then let's go a little bit lower so you guys can see we have my romances so these are like mostly romances from authors that I have a lot from so like Emily Henry I have so many Ali Hazelwood literally this is all Ali Hazelwood um Elena Armas I have a bunch these two just kind of fit here I could probably move them to the bottom shelf I didn't know if I wanted them on my YA shelf but you can you saw there was no space for that <laughs> um so they kind of just popped in here and then we have all my Abby Jimenez love those so freaking much i tried to do height order as best as i could but because the abby jimenez these are taller than the rest it just didn't match <laughs> so either i had to split up the author or split up the height and i split up the height um, and then we have sarah adams um over there i love all those books so a lot of these are just so good but a lot of these authors are coming out with more and more books so i'm like oh my gosh <laughs> we're gonna run out of space but it's fine because i know emily henry's coming out um ali hazelwood is coming out with more elena armas as well um abby jimenez as well and sarah adams all of these are probably coming out with new people in like the next month or so in the next few months i don't know why i did that i don't know why i don't just put them on the bottom Yeah, we need that space. So let me leave that space clear. <laughs> um, and then let me show you the bottom. I'm running out of storage, but here's the bottom shelf. So I'm going to have to pop these on um, down there, even move it. I'm thinking about moving the Christmas books, again, to the back so you can't really see them. Just because they're Christmas, I don't really need them. Um, and I hated one day in December anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> um, but these are like, I like a lot of these books. They're just nothing like, oh my gosh, I need to see this. I need to think about this. You know what I mean? I don't even remember much about these. I need to reread a lot of these. Um, and some of these I could declutter or whatever you guys call it, unhaul, whatever. So, like, there's a lot of work that can be done with this bottom shelf. I just, for now, is just fine. Just live like that and it's fine. Okay? <laughs> All right. So, then, again, up here we have just the cutest stuff. We have Wildfire and Icebreaker. I'm so excited. Oh, um, I thought it was so freaking cute. Um, and then my floating shelves. So, I love my little man up there. He's so cute. But then I have the, um, it's like the lighting is horrible. Sorry. Um, but <laughs> we have um, the, what is that called? 
Never After series by Emily McIntyre. Love this series. Um, I love it, but I don't love it as much as like some of my other series. So it was fine up there. I was like, that's good enough for it. <laughs> and then um, they think that she's coming out with one more book. So that will obviously top, pop on top. And then we have my Windy City series. I love this series so much. I don't necessarily need that cup there, but it was just like whatever. And then you can see I have a stand because I want to put the purple one. I don't know. I want to put my favorite one on the stand. It might not be the purple, the next book, <laughs> uh, play along. But I want to put my favorite one, which I might end up being caught up on the stand. <laughs> um, so we'll see about that. So anyway, guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I thought it was so much fun. I'm like, you guys definitely inspired me because I was like, I do not know what to do with these books. I'm about to start throwing out books because <laughs> I had no idea. But like, it turned out so good. So I'm so obsessed. Thank you guys so much. Here's a sneak peek. That's my TBR cart right now. Like, all those books have to end up on those shelves. So, like, ugh, we'll see. I gotta stop buying books. Anyway, guys, <laughs> that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, nerds.